Hello everyone, welcome to day 16 of the 30 days, 30 tips on productivity. I am Dr. Özgün Ünver from Mind Your Own Revisions. I am a well-being a mindset and burnout coach for academics. And today we are talking about how to keep your focus when you are working from the office. Some of us have difficulty concentrating in an office setting, especially now that we got used to during the COVID period to, to work from home. Some of us find office environment um, as an obstacle to our productivity. So today we're going to talk about some tips that you can apply to get your attention back inwards. One of the first things you can do, this is very obvious, uh, is to keep the door shut if you have an if you have a separate office. Even if you are sharing that office with someone else or two other people, at least by keeping the door shut, you limit the number of people uh, in the environment and also the number of people who may distract you. That's the first thing. If you have no office or if you are working with several people in an office, uh, which may have an impact on your um, attention in that moment, you can get these noise cancelling headphones, the big ones, the visible ones, so that others see that you're not available. Or when you put them on, even if you don't listen to music or anything, they will give the signal, yeah, I'm, I'm away, I'm somewhere else now. If you talk to me, I won't hear you. So you may want to um, consider that. And also it is important if you're sharing the office with other people, asking them to hold their meetings or uh, um, their, their discussions with their colleagues elsewhere, because other people may come to your office to talk with the colleague uh, in your office, which may distract you as well. And if that is the case, say it out loud that this is... Um, affecting your productivity and ask them to kindly please have the, the meetings elsewhere. Another one that you can try doing is to leave for a little while and go to a library or another silent work space for an hour or two to do your deep work. Not like you have to leave the office for extended periods of time but if you really need to focus and you can't find that focus in the office environment to go to another place that may also give this little boost uh, next tip is also relevant when you're working from home the the online co-working spaces like teams and slack and all of that you need to make yourself busy there or you need to set your um, availability as do not disturb. And that will also give a signal uh, to other colleagues who may or may not be in the office in that moment to start chats with you or expect a reply from you, right? You basically give the signal, look, don't, don't expect reply from me anytime soon. And by setting... Uh, the do not disturb mode in some of these software you're also limiting the the pings and pongs and uh, those little pop-ups that come out so consider doing that when you're working from home or in the office that is the best thing you can do for your productivity another one is to keep your desk tidy wherever you are working Again, even if you're working from home or in the in the office, the visual clutter on your desk and around your desk really has an impact on, on your productivity, on your ability to, to focus on one thing. Because as you're trying to focus on that one single task, we talked about single tasking, right? If you see that, that little piece of paper there that, that has your to-do list, you will remember all kinds of things that you need to do and then you will stop that single task and you will go back and forth between tasks. That's something you don't want to do. And finally, 
you need to learn to set boundaries with your colleagues. We already talked about this, right? Like asking your colleague to have their meeting elsewhere or not talk to you when you have those uh, headphones on. Don't be afraid to say these things out loud. Saying these things does not mean that you're a rude person unless you say it in a very rude way, of course, that can always happen, but try to just get the message across in a kind way and everyone will, will appreciate that you openly tell them what you need and how they can support you in your work. And in that way, you also encourage them to do the same. And then everybody is a little bit happier at work. Everybody is a little bit more authentic, a little bit huh, more relaxed. They're able to say things out loud. Last but not the least, if you are working hybrid, sometimes from home, sometimes from the office, you can also organize your work days uh, in a way that is most suited to the workplace you will be on that day. If you can do deep work only at home, you can set up your meetings uh, and other like social tasks and these chit chats at work in times that you're, you're in the office and you can do more of deep work when you're at home. You are in charge of your schedule. Do what's best for you. Tomorrow I'll be back with another video. Until then, mind your own revisions.